You're going to take your paper, fold it in half so it looks. Then that we have two parts. We have a folded part and a part that opens. A folded part and a part that opens. On the part that opens, this is gonna be the top. Opening top. It's like opening up a present, right? Then you'll take your pencil and draw a line all the way across like this. Now on that line, you're going to write your name up here at the top. And we're going to add some little, this is called tick marks, marks, tick marks. So right in the center, I'm going to add one. Then I'm going to go between these two spots, add one over here, one over here. How many tick marks do I have? Three. Now I'm going to divide those in half. One in the middle here, one in the middle here, one in the middle here, and one in the middle here. Now how many do I have? I have seven, that's gonna be perfect. Once I have Now that we have our seven tick marks, we're going to go from the tick mark down to the fold. So starting up at the top, down to the fold. Top, down to the fold. Top. As you can see, I tried to make my lines pretty straight. Okay, now that we have our lines drawn, we're going to take our scissors and cut, and this part is super important. Because we aren't cutting all the way through, we're going to cut up and stop on the line. So I'm gonna start over here. When I cut, I want to have nice, smooth cutting, so I don't want it to be choppy. I don't want to do a little <laughs> Nope, nice and smooth until I get to the top. Then I stop. Cut, 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 stop. Cut. Cut, cut, stop. Now, I'm going to continue to do this. Do you see how this is happening? See how it stays together because of the top? Am I staying 100% on my line? I, that's really hard. So if I go off mine a little bit, that's all right. We're going to cut from the bottom, stop at the top for every single line. I'm going to open this up and this becomes a loom. So this is a huge, huge loom that we're going to be weaving. Okay, now we're going to start on the top and go under the next one, just like our bodies did earlier. On top and under, on top and under, on top and under. See how it goes up through, up and under, up and under? Yeah. Now I'm going to press this all the way to the side. So I'll just press it all the way to the side like that. Now last time I started on the top. This time I'm going to start on the bottom. Underneath on top, underneath, on top, underneath, oh, maybe, there we go, on top, under, and over. I'm going to scoot that really nice and tight to its friend. The tighter these can be next to each other, the stronger our weaving is going to be. 
So we want them to be really good buddies and get as tight to each other as possible. Do you see how it's starting to make kind of a checkerboard? Yeah, I love checkers. If yours doesn't make a checkerboard, then you're not doing it right. Okay, now I'm ready to go kind of faster because now I know what to do. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Is that right? No. Oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to start over. Here's the solution. Guys, if you make a mistake, you can just pull them back out. So he said, start over. Okay. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Perfect. No. What? I did. Oh, I did skip one. Okay, let me pull this back. Do, 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 do. Okay. Do I have to pull it all the way out? No. No, some of it was done right. So, okay. Now I know where I made that mistake. Under, over, under. Yes. Yes. What do I have to do? Yes. Oh, yeah. These two have to be good friends. I have to push them together. Okay, I have most of my weaving completed. Now it's probably gonna be able, I'm probably gonna be able to fit one more. So I'm just gonna double check to make sure that I can't get these any closer together. If I can get them closer together, I want to. Okay, yeah, I think I'll be able to fit one more on there. But I'll tell you, the last weaving is typically the hardest. So I'm trying my best, and it might be a little frustrating, but I'm going to be able to do this. I know it. So please be patient with this last one. Please be cautious. Please be careful so we end up not ripping any of, um, any of the loom itself. Okay, now we have one more thing to do. In order to make this as strong as possible so that none of these strips end up falling out, we're going to use a little bit of glue under each of these tabs. So see how this kind of comes up? I'm gonna add a drop of glue and glue it down. A drop of glue and glue it down. I'm gonna do that for every tab. I'm going to flip this over and do it for these tabs down here. I'm not done yet. I'm going to flip over my weaving to the back side and get all of these tabs glued down as well. My weaving is completed. Now we're gonna turn this weaving into a watermelon. I know, crazy. You're going to take a large piece of green paper and you're going to use a pencil, but I'll be using a pen so you can see it better. You're going to create a big letter U the biggest you can possibly make. Notice it comes down, comes up here, really super big. Then you're going to make another U inside of it. Using your pencil, you'll make the letter U looking something like this. Two letter U's. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut that out. 
be sure to cut both letter U's, the outside and the inside. This extra piece of paper we will be able to use. So we're going to set it aside. We'll maybe put this in re recycling, but this is the part that we need for our art. With white glue, I'm going to add just a little bit of glue along the whole green letter U. Just like that. And I can take my finger and kind of smear it to make sure that this is gonna stay down forever. And there's not gonna be any floppies. I want enough glue on here to make sure that it sticks really nice and tight, but I don't want too much that it's going to be all over the place. That's the tricky part right there, is flipping it over, and we're going to put our letter U back onto our weaving that we have created. This part might, you might even want to use a friend to help you out with that. Are you starting to see a watermelon so far? Now we're going to use our Sharpie marker and we're going to make some seeds. The last step is to cut around the green.